I would love to start off the core values conversation with getting some participation from you guys as to your existing core values, if you have them. Oh, well, before I just dive in, why are we talking about core values? Mission and vision seem very relevant. I'm sure this is not the first day that you've ever heard of a mission or a vision statement and why it's important. However, core values are newer to some businesses. And when I was talking earlier today about hiring, firing, and rewarding, in corrective conversations, we are driving to our mission and our vision but we literally use our core values to hire people like in the hiring process. We use them in the reward process and we're gonna go through our performance review process with you guys, for the exact documentation that we use in order to promote. That's what I mean by rewarding, in order to promote people. And then we also use them in the termination process for a reason why we would fire somebody. So this criteria is gonna be really important as we go through some of these examples because a lot of business owners start with their core values as this like, really heady thing instead of being able to use them. Like, can I use, the, the, the biggest offender of this would be a bunch of clients who have faith-based as one of their core values. You can absolutely have a culture of being faith-based. There's no problem with that. However, you cannot fire some, like legally, you cannot fire somebody because of, that's the, the protected class, right? That's discriminatory. As you're thinking with, okay, core values are not this nice description of my organization, but they're actually a method that I use to run people through who gets promoted, who gets hired, and then who also gets fired. Uh, I think it, it shifts the it shifts the words a little bit. So ideally, you come out of here with like really solid core values. I will be the first to admit we are uh, incredibly biased on our core values because we've used them in performance reviews, and I've had to sit there and be like, man, how do I give this person feedback using this word? Because grit. It might be a great word. Oh, I'm like everybody should be gritty. That sounds great. Um, but then when you're thinking with how do I promote somebody because they were gritty or how do I fire somebody because they weren't gritty, it can kind of fall apart. So with that, I want you guys to be open and honest so that I can destroy your core values ideas. How about that? That was quite the intro. Okay, go for it. Uh, we have transpar <clears throat> transparency, inspirational, accountability, alignment, and productivity. Awesome. Okay, great. Transparency, alignment. I keyed in on productivity. Inspirational. Inspirational. What about you? Speed. Speed is one of your core values. Quality. Speed. Quality. Trust. Trust. Discipline. Love that one. Positivity. Positivity. Okay. Accountability. Okay. All right. What about you? Driven, accountability, results, transparency. Driven. Inspirational mm -hmm. and compassionate. What was the last one? Compassionate. Compassionate, okay, great. Integrity. Integrity. Communication, knowledge, teamwork, consistency, and predictability. Sometimes everybody has our core values and it makes this exercise a lot less fun, but th these are gonna be fun. <laughs> We're a general contractor. And most of us are military people doing projects for the military and the Veterans Administration. Okay. So we picked up ours for the military. Uh huh. Honor, courage, commitment. Honor, you know, keep your word, integrity, courage to do what's right, and then uh, commitment to your, your company, the, to your customers, and your coworkers. Okay, great. Honor, courage, courage, commitment. Before all of you guys write all of these down, let's like go through the criteria. Some of these are great. You guys don't know which ones are great yet, and I'll kind of work through some of the ones that might need some tweaking. So I have a question. Some of mine are multi-word. Are multi-worded, okay. So is there a drawback to having, and I'll read them out. So they may repeat integrity, positivity, follow through, deliver results, not excuses, promptness, teamwork, self-improvement, have fun while being the best. Have fun while being the best. Okay. Are those all of them? Yep. Okay, so ours is ethics, inspiration, alignment, discipline, accountability, and results. Ethics, discipline, alignment, accountability, and results. Did I miss one? Inspiration. Inspiration. So ethics. What a list. This is awesome. And then on our chat, we have responsibility. 
Uh, maybe in between compassionate and integrity. It's real small. Okay, responsibility, leadership, innovations. I was waiting for innovations. Thank you for putting innovations in here. Creativity, transparency, results. Okay, awesome. Bold, bold, smart, fun, driven, care. Okay, thank you, Toby. And oh, there's what is respect already up there? Yeah. Do we have courage up there? Courage, hard working. Man, I love hard working. Intelligence, determination, focus, integrity, loyal. Okay, this, this is an exhaustive list of core values. Hire, fire, reward. Half of these, maybe more than half, are fantastic descriptions of things that you want in your business. This is not me telling you that you don't want this type of environment or descriptor inside your organization, but this is me telling you some of these things you absolutely could never use when trying to fire somebody. These core values are going to go in the job description. They're going to go on your website. Here's general what we're looking for. Five to eight words. Why do we have between five to eight words? We're trying to remember these things. Like, we have six in our organization. I can remember six. Maybe you can remember eight. Eight would probably be the max. To your question earlier, that's why this, the sentences can become difficult. Because now it's not just that I'm rem remembering eight different words. I'm remembering have fun while being the best. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm remembering six words for one core value, where if fun is important to you, fun, the best, we're the best. That's a second core value. But like fun while doing, it's so nuanced in how you're describing it, because if you're fun and you're the best, then these are two totally separate criteria that you're trying to merge into one sentence. You want me to roll through these for how you can use these and which ones I would recommend? I'll do blue for the ones we like red for the ones I don't like. So transparency, alignment, accountability, inspiration, where's the results? Oh, disciplined, probably my favorite core value. Results is somewhere. Oh, hotter, colder. <sighs> that was fun, that was great. Okay, productivity. Who said productivity? Who was that? You were, okay, productivity. Do all of you wanna be productive? Yeah, like no one wants to waste their time. My philosophy around productivity is that is my expectation. If you are a marketing manager, if you're the CFO of the company, if you're a coordinator, if you're a salesperson, I need you to do the job that I've asked you to do. If you can do it in seven hours, and I thought it was eight hours a day, great. That's you being productive, but I don't need to measure that you are productive. And I don't need you coming up, this is the other big problem with productivity, I don't need you coming up, especially if I'm your boss, you coming up with new ways for how you could be more productive outside of the way that I've said, this is how we're gonna do it, and there's 30 other people that have success, had success doing this thing. So productivity works in a small organization for leaders who need to figure out productive ways to have all of their team members do the work because a lot of team members are gonna be added to those tasks in the duplication process, but I don't need you like coming up with random new ways to be more productive in the aggregate. Make sense? I don't hate it, I just, this wouldn't be, this wouldn't be a top choice for me. Uh, speed. Again, speed. I don't know that I want everybody to do everything quickly. Speed with, in general, being able to service our customer in a way that is quick, that might be good. I don't want my accountant being speedy. Like, I want my accountant to be correct. I want them to be disciplined. I want them to have, have create results. But I'm, I'm using this as a filter. Remember this, I'm using this as a filter for every person in the environment, every single person. That includes your accountants, the people that you're also working with, with clients. I also like for your sales team members, I don't want my sales team members being speedy. I want them to build relationships, I want them to be communicative, I want them to hit the result. They should figure out where to be speedy in certain results. Does that make sense? Am I rewarding how it's done or am I actually rewarding that the thing got done? Don't know that I want everybody being speedy, urgent, and prompt. Kind of as you describe that culture, I'm thinking with people who are moving fast and the urgency almost, it's like a weighted thing. Like I want the, the environment to feel great and inspired, 
but not like anxious. The attentive could be. And I can get into how some of these other ones might get the result that you're looking for in speed. Because all of a sudden, just remember, if I'm saying speed is important and I'm using this as a criteria to promote somebody, how am I measuring that, how quickly they are doing something? I'm not going to be able to measure how quickly somebody creates a graphic design for an ad. And I don't want to. That's not, that's not important to making our business hit a million customers or a million, a million 10x businesses. Got a quick question. Uh, so let's say I have a sales team, a service team, marketing team. Yes. Promptness is one of our values, and we are known to be super quick and responsive to our clients. Uh -huh. So if I do want that to be one of our biggest values, uh -huh. but it doesn't apply to my marketing team. Something like we... promptness should be in the job description. But the promptness, again, opinion of Cardone Ventures. Something like promptness does not, need to dis does not need to define the culture and why somebody would get promoted. I'm not going to promote Gabrielle as a recruiter for being a faster recruiter than the person next to her who's actually getting the result that I want, which is quality candidates in the time that we've targeted to post them, but her ability to, to do these things. Now, in the job description, this is where I think some businesses get a little lackadaisical and they put it in the wrong bucket. That should, you should be thinking with how much measurement is taking place with every single role and getting to the granular level of, actually, I like this one. This organization For your, who do you want to be prompt? Your, your sales team, great. Uh, there should be a criteria. We're going to get into job descriptions in a hot minute. Objectives, competencies, metrics. For every single role has objectives, competencies, metrics. In the objective, for every role, it should clearly state what they are supposed to be prompt doing. But I don't need to. I don't need to reward people for being prompt. I expect you to be prompt if you're a salesperson because I've told you in your job description that this is what this is supposed to look like. And then I can measure, did you respond to a customer in 24 hours or did you not? If you didn't, and you, even though you knew the policy, that would be a reason that I wouldn't continue to have you be in that role. And again, I think that this visual is really helpful for people because it's not that these things are wrong in a culture, it's how do you use them in the right capacity? How do I use core values for the right capacity that is overreaching the entire organization? But then how do I use a job description for what a job description is supposed to be used for, which is very clearly understating or stating what the metrics are, the objectives of that role. If you hit them, you're not doing your job. That doesn't mean you, should get, you shouldn't get incentivized for doing your job. You, there's a base, I'm doing this. But then I move up in the organization because I am living through and demonstrating core values. And I'm becoming better at those things. You guys getting the difference between these two? So some of these criteria fit great in a job description for a specific role within a certain department that is important to you through because they touch a lot of customers or whatever the scenario is.